Hi, I'm Chuck. Welcome to Ham Radio Ventures. This is part two of my review of the Redodo 100 amp hour LifePo 4 battery. Today we're going to do a capacity test that will see if the battery can put out its full 100 amp hours. And that will take about 10 hours. Luckily for you, I'm just going to show the beginning and the end and spare you the 10 hours in between, which I'll be doing other things also. That I will recharge the battery another 10 hours. I, I really do need a bigger charger that uh, does more than 10 amps. 20 amp would be nice. And after, after we recharge the battery, we're going to hook the battery to an inverter and then hook a few small appliances up to it. Something you might use when you're out camping or even at the house in the garage or whatever. And see if it can, uh, can run those things. I have a 1200 watt uh, inverter that I'm going to hook it to. So I can't go real big with the stuff, but... Uh, We'll probably put it to its test and probably make it beep at us. Then I'm going to take the battery and put it in my freezer. You ask why? Because this battery has a low temperature cutoff, so it won't charge the battery at low temperatures and hurt the battery. And we're going to test that if I can. I don't. I'm kind of new at testing this part of it before because uh, I don't know if I can get it cold enough or not in my freezer. But we're going to try it anyhow, and let's see if makes make sure it works. So make sure you watch it all the way to the end to see all the different results and uh, see how this battery stacks up. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So you can see I've had this running for a few minutes here. It's at 12.4 the volts, 10 amps. It's fully charged. Should take about, oh, probably about 10 hours or so. All right, there's a the setup on the battery. We will be back. All right, guys, so we have the uh, the Redodo battery set up. And what I have is a, this is an Ampeak. It's a 1200 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter. I've got the gauge here to show uh, amperage what it is. And then I've got a voltmeter here showing 13.38. It's been a couple of days since I charged the battery, so it's, it's uh, settled down just a little bit. And what I have over here, this is a 1200 or 800 let's see what is it um it's a fi it's max 1500 watts so it's too big for my in my my inverter so it will uh, set off the alarm on that and turn it off but it has two settings it has a fan and then a, a low and a high so we'll probably set the fan first let's go ahead and try it um, there's the fan oh i gotta turn the inverter on let me turn the inverter on the inverter's on and it's showing a couple like one or two watts that's just standby so we'll go ahead and turn it on you see the light came on there guys and there's the fan the battery pretty much stayed where it was 2.9 and that's and then on here it says 27 watts okay I, i'm sorry i can't i don't have a camera for everything but on, on this screen it says 27 watts i don't want to touch it because everything's kind of just in a place now so we'll go ahead and we're going to turn on the number one heat run that for a little while now you can see the voltage went down some it's down to 13 just uh, let's go a little, little bit a little 12 9 now okay 800 right now it's uh 900 watts It's leveling off to about eight, about 800, I think is what it'll do. I'll tell you in just a few minutes there. I can already feel the heat coming from it. So it must be like 800 and 1500. Well, it's like 768 now. That's what it's running at. As you can see, it's 69.6, 767 on here. We're down to 12.76 volts, so it's doing pretty well. That's the nice thing about these uh, lithium batteries is your inverter is not going to see something that's because of the sag. It's not going to turn off and give you alarms because the lithiums will hold their voltage really well. Okay, so that's kind of a nice thing about the lithiums right there. That and you know you can get 100% versus 50% out of them versus a lead acid. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. We've run that for a little while. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to run the battery down a little ways and then I'm going to set this thing up and throw it in my freezer and see if I can get it below the temperature and see if this thing will not charge at low temp and then we'll see if it comes back on, okay? So I want to get some charge out of this battery. I want to use it just a little bit. So let's go ahead. This is going to uh, throw the alarm on this because it's going to be too much, but we're going to do it anyhow. 
and it will probably peak. There's 11, 12, 1300, and like it, it's supposed to do, it cut off at 1330. Okay, so I basically got to turn that off, turn this back down. In fact, I'll turn it off. We'll start this again, and it's powering up. The light came on here. We'll go to the fan. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the power again for number one, level one, which it peaks around a thousand. Okay, so we're at 773 again. 770. And we're holding at 1275, 12.75, so that's good. And, and we're 69.9 on this. And I'm running this on the positive side here, guys. These are nice if you guys don't have one of these. Or I'll put that in the description for you guys if you're interested in one of those. Really nice little unit. It doesn't cost a whole lot. Okay, I'm going to let this run for a little while, guys. And the next test we're going to do, I'm going to throw this in the freezer, get the temperature down around zero or so, and see if the uh, low temperature cutout works like it's supposed to. And they call it low temperature charging protection. LTCP, that's the up here in the corner here, guys. Okay, that's what the next thing we'll see. So this is what I had to do. I've got the uh, Ridotto sitting in the the uh, freezer of my refrigerator and for an well, hour and a half, two hours to get it cold enough to where it would shut off the uh, charge on it. All right, so let's open up the Victron app. Well, let me actually, let me plug it in first. Now we hit the Victron app. And that's because I tried it a minute ago. So now it's opening up. It says bulk charge. We're going to watch it for a second. It goes immediately to absorption charge. Now, I believe this is the actual cutoff because this charger is what they call a smart charger. and It, it should be going into regular mode, like bulk. It should stay there. But I think that's what this one does when it goes off. So basically, it's putting zero current in, as you can see, and it's at 14.2. What I will do later is I'll pull this battery out. I won't charge it or anything between now and then and let it, let it warm up and then we will see what it does. It should go into bulk mode, all right? All right, guys, so I hooked the charger up. Looks like it's connected now. It's in bulk charge. We're gonna set that a little while because it said bulk charge before, but remember it cut off to the float mode, which is the to maintain. And this thing should, I took about 20 amp hours out of the battery, so it should charge for a while now. And it does look like it's staying charging. So I guess the low temperature does work. Just a little different way how this charger actually works is all. But, uh, but yeah, I guess that's a pass then. That's a good deal. I'm glad it worked. And there's the whole setup with the battery. All right, guys, this is the Redodo. 100 amp hour battery showing 104.15 amp hours, uh, 1270.5062 watt hours, and 104.61 watts. All right, and the test took 10 hours and 23 minutes, so that's a pass. 104.21. All right, so the Redoto battery did very well in all its testings. Uh, it's a nice, clean battery, nice package. Uh, a little bigger than some of the other ones out there that I've seen, but uh, this one's supposed to be a little bit better for like trolling motors and stuff like that. Although space is sometimes very valuable in a boat. It did pass all the tests. Even that uh, low temperature cutoff, it, uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to get it cold enough, but uh, it did work. And, and my, my tester is a little different. It, goes, just goes, it shows float mold instead of not charging, which is not charging. That's, uh, that's what happens when the battery's fully charged. So basically, it thought the battery's charged because it wasn't getting anything back. Uh, I will say that um, Renoto was easy to work with. They told me if I need had any questions on anything about their batteries, just to email them and they would get back to me. And I'm, I didn't really ask any questions, but when I did uh, chat with them, they did get back to me pretty fast. So hopefully this video was helpful. And if it was, please hit the like. And then if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all. That way you'll get all my future videos. I'm Chuck. KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. Thank you for spending your time with me. I know your time is valuable. 73 all and hope to catch you guys on the airways.